we live on a, a piece of property that is zoned rural residential. Uh, we live on five acres. We're surrounded by water on three sides and we're growing oysters. Uh, so you're taking a look right now at our oyster farm. Our oyster farm is basically invisible. It's underwater. Uh, you might see those little tiny little floats that are slightly bigger than a, a man's fist. You see the PVC pipes that uh, the white PVC pipes that say oysters on them and uh, those pipes represent the places where the oyster cages are contained. The oyster cages are on the bottom of the water, on the bottom on the sand, uh, under the water, they're out of sight 99.9% .9 of the time. Occasionally in an extremely low tide you'll see the top portion of those cages but 99.9% .9 of the time they're underwater. We uh, have the right here based on our zoning ordinance according to our county to grow pigs, goats, chickens, uh, hippopotamuses, alligators, snakes, crickets, llamas, just about any animal that can be grown for food or skin or fiber. We have seven permits, leases, licenses, certific or certifications from the state of Virginia to grow oysters, to, to farm oysters, to um, to harvest oysters and to sell those oysters, even to ship the oysters. We have the legal right to ship our oysters to Singapore, anywhere in the world, and sell them commercially. Um, but at the same time, our county has told us that we have to shut down our oyster farm. That our oyster farm, that, that not one single oyster can ever come on our pier or our land. And if you look here, you know, across the land, you see, again, it's a pretty big piece of property. We are uh, approximately uh, we, it's 500 feet away from our closest neighbor. Uh, we have our, a cove between us and the closest neighbor that uh, is about 350 feet across. And it doesn't make any sense that uh, our little oyster farm has become a point of controversy or a become really an illegal operation. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything. As a matter of fact, it really helps the environment. You know, it's estimated that the uh, average oyster filters between 50 and 60 gallons a day. And so just the oysters that we have out here now, before we add any other oysters to it, uh, will at maturity filter about 12 million gallons of seawater a day. So when you think about what's going on with the environment, specifically what's going on with the Chesapeake Bay, our little county of York, where freedom was won when Cornwallis surrendered right here on the York River, our little county of York uh, has, a, has been mandated by the EPA, or it's being estimated by the Environmental Protection Agency, that we're going to have to spend $94 million to clean up the bay. And that's good in a way that we do want to clean up the bay, but we ought to be doing it by natural means. And there's no greater natural means to clean the bay than oysters and other shellfish. And so instead of embracing oyster farmers, our county is fighting oyster farmers and telling them that you cannot uh, grow oysters if any part of the operation, if any worker walks on the ground, if any oyster goes on a pier, if any oyster ever gets up on a pier or a cage ever gets up on a pier. As a matter of fact, if you look closely at the pier, you'll see lines uh, hanging from the bottom of the pier and they're even saying those lines are illegal even though we lease the oyster grounds <clears throat> underneath that pier from the state of Virginia. The uh, county is telling us that those strings cannot be tied to our docks even though they acknowledge that the cages can be under the pier. That's how ridiculous it is, as if those little strings, those little lines that hold the cages in place uh, are going to make any difference or have any impact on anything. And so, again, uh, we have the right to grow all types of crops, all types of animals, except oysters, uh, except shellfish here, because our county has outlawed aquaculture, even though agriculture is legal. The federal, uh, the federal government has said that aquaculture is agriculture, and it's under the Department of Agriculture in Washington, D.C. The state government here in the Commonwealth of Virginia has said that aquaculture is agriculture, and it is uh, contained and uh, and all the rules that are made are under the Department of Agriculture here in Virginia, <clears throat> but not in our county. 
our county where freedom was won. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm the, uh, the 14th generation descendant of the founder of Yorktown. And I can't imagine what my great, 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 great grandfather would say if he knew that I'm standing here on the shores that he came to in 1620 uh, and, and being told by the government that I cannot grow shellfish here in the county, that I have, that this, this little simple little freedom uh, has been removed and taken away.